Hi, Candy Flames here today with another Yankee Candle Chit Chat and Review and today I'm talking to you about Home Inspiration's Pick and Mix. So welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new to my channel then welcome and pleased to have you here. Hope everybody's had a good week, whatever you've been up to, let me know down in the comments. So, right, let's jump straight into this. So this is the Home Inspiration range of Yankee Candle, uh, a slightly cheaper one. This one, the large jar here, has 538 grams of wax and has a burn time of up to about 125 hours. Um, you can pick this up, like the Home Inspiration range, it's more readily available. So you can find it at places like Argos and Asda's and Tesco's. It's just more easy to pick up and it is a more sort of affordable, affordable price. So we have a description here of a fun filled mix of brightly colored sweets and nostalgic fragrance of pure sweet joy. And I love the color there, that it's nice um, candy pink sort of color, very nice. And on the label there, you can see pick a mix. And I really wanted to get hold of this one to try it because I'd heard good things about it. So with the Home Inspiration range, I have on all the ones I've reviewed before managed to get hold of the notes. Um, I've looked everywhere and I can't find no detailed description of the notes on here um, Which is the first one of the home inspiration range. I can't find the notes on but there you go So I actually quite like it because people out there are kind of guessing what they can get from this So I personally can definitely pick up vanilla. I can definitely um, pick up watermelon I'm also getting like a strawberry there as well and I'm definitely getting, a few people have agreed with me, but I can definitely get just a hint of licorice, like a, a faint licorice smell from this as well. So it's really quite nice. It's a very sweet fragrance, which you would expect it to be, wouldn't you? Um, and I'm quite enjoying it. The only thing is the throw. So the Home Inspiration range, I have found some of these on the throw to be pretty good. But this one... Um, it's one of the medium ones. It's not throwing as much as perhaps I would like it to. Having said that, I can smell it when it's in my living room. And once it's, obviously I've got a you know, nice pool of uh, wax going on there. I can smell it, but I would probably give it a throw rating of a five and a half. So um, it's very sweet. It is very enjoyable, but it is very subtle. So perhaps if you don't want, because I know not everybody wants the sense where, you know, you walk into the room and they hit you in the face. I know not everybody likes them and some people just like a nice background scent. This is a nice one to have. It's very sweet and sugary and very summery, actually. I think that must be, <clears throat> excuse me, that must be the watermelon and the sort of strawberry going through it that I can detect. Um, what I might actually do with this is I might pick up the melts. They do like, you know, melts. For these home inspiration they match them and I might pick up the pick and mix melts and have that going at the same time as the candle to give it that sort of boost because I really do enjoy the scent and uh, like I say it's kind of it's sweet and it's summery and it's just it's just a nice vibe it's a good one for your kitchen and your dining room it's not going to be strong enough for your kitchen to mask cooking smells but it's just quite an enjoyable one to have lit out there um, so yeah i am enjoying it and like i say i might come back and give you an update when i've got hold of the melts and i can boost that fragrance and have it you know quite stronger in the living room because for me it's just a little bit too subtle but don't let that put you know don't let me put you off you go out there try it see what you think and it does depend you know on the size of your room so um Having said a five and a half, you can, you know, you can detect it. You can walk in the room and smell it. And like I say, it's just, it's quite enjoyable. So currently I'm looking here at the Asda website and it's on there at the moment, this size jar for £13.97. But I do know um, every now and again, they bring them down in price. I have picked up these Home Inspiration large jars for £11 before. You can find them sometimes especially from Tesco's. I nipped in Tesco's today and they had some of the large jars. I think they was on £11 and the smaller ones, I can't remember how much they were, but you can pick them up at a good bargain when they're on offer. 
and I think they're worth it. I'm really enjoying these home inspiration range and um, you know they 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 burn nicely I haven't had a problem with the burn on them so I'm quite a fan of them and I'm quite happy to try some of them out of the new fragrances that are coming out this year and review them for you so uh, yeah any new ones or home inspiration ones I did try today I think in Tesco's it was uh, rose lemonade I think there was um, which was quite an interesting one um, so I might pick up that one and I think I can't remember the name of the other one I'm just looking now on the Tesco's website um, there was a couple there so I might pick up a few of them and review especially some of these summery ones that are nice you know now we're coming into that time of year but yeah I'm enjoying them and if you haven't tried the home inspiration range I suggest you know uh, if you're a fan of Yankee Candle to try it because they are actually really quite nice um, one of my favorite the sugared blossoms uh, is beautiful it's one of my all-time favorite Yankee candles actually and I wouldn't be without that one in my collection so yeah pleased with this one love the color love the label nice subtle sweet fragrance it was quite fun guessing what sort of notes we could get in there the family like this one it is a little bit more subtle like I say than what I was you know hoping for but once I pick up the melts and put that into my um I'm actually using the living room at the moment, the centerpiece, and I now use my melts in there. So once I um, pop some in there and have this going at the same time, I'm hoping that it'll boost the scent a bit more. So let me know if you've tried this down in the comments and what you think to it. Let me know if you've tried some from the Home Inspiration range here in the UK and what you think to it. Um, is it a hit with you or is it a miss? Let me know. So next week I will be back and I'm going to show you, I've got like a mini Illumilid haul. I'm going to show you some of the Illumilids I've got in my collection and um, I've bought some recently and I think I got some bargains really. I think I did actually get bargains for what I've got. So yeah, I'm going to go through that with you, show you, let you know how much I paid for them. And um, after that, what have I got coming after that? I might jump on to, I've got a few more from the Elevation range that I want to go through and some of the staple ones in the original jars that I want to go through and while we're waiting for them to bring out some new scents fragrances for us to try so yeah that's what's coming up uh, please like and subscribe and I hope you have a really good week whatever you're doing like I say let me know I will get back to you in the comments and I will be back next week bye